I'm Ashley Webster in today for Stuart Barney. Thanks for tuning in. Let's check these markets. We've been on the way up, uh, modestly at the beginning, but gaining some more momentum. The Dow up 128 points now, the S&P up nearly 1%, and the Nasdaq Composite also up 1%. Let's take a look at the 10-year, uh, the big tech numbers first, then we'll look at the 10-year treasury. Uh, big tech all up nicely, Amazon up 2%, Meta Platforms up 2.5%, Alphabet, Apple, Microsoft, all on the upside. Now let's take a look at the 10 year treasury it had been moving up a little bit which is normally not great for the tech stocks and now it's coming back down it's been up and down all morning but still at 3.09 percent down 1.2 basis points for the 10-year treasury yield all right good time to bring in david strujeski he is the market watcher of the morning david great to have you along uh we got the second uh look at gdp in the second quarter if i got that right it, it still shows in contraction which technically means we're in a recession but there's a lot of debate do you think we are in a recession right now well thank you so much for having me on here this morning yeah. um I, I do think that we are uh, are in a recession i mean uh two negative quarters of gdp has always been good for me and that's how i was taught uh so that that is a a good uh, indicator of where we are heading at least uh, I think that uh, the most recent data that we've just seen on the housing market as well uh, really is, uh, is, you know, remember, housing is a lagging indicator, not a leading indicator. And so as we begin to see housing pull back right now, which is absolutely evident across the board, um, I, I think that, uh, you know, we're getting more of those data headlines here that the Federal Reserve is, you know, hopefully taking action on and looking at and, and, and whatnot as we're coming up here in the, tomorrow's meetings. Yeah, and that's well. That leads right into my next question. You know, look, we're going to hear from uh, Jerome Powell tomorrow. There are those that say don't expect him to show any signs of dovishness at all, uh, and I'm assuming that the markets expect that. Do you expect that uh, from the Fed? Yeah, I, I do. Yeah, I do not see a, a dovish Fed. If they're going to come out hawkish, well, guess what? This is the time to do it. Uh, we all know, in looking in hindsight, that they were a little bit late to the party. And so uh, I think that, that he's really going to need to take into account three things. One, where we've been, where we are, then where we're going. His uh, 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 message last year, Jackson Hole, was, was completely inaccurate. So uh, the analysis that the Fed had leading into 22 uh, was not the best. So that finds us today in an overheated economy because we flushed so much cash in through 2020, unemployment, et cetera. We propped up stock markets, crypto markets, uh, et cetera, our housing market. And, uh, and so now uh, Jerome Powell's got a very, very, very difficult thing ahead of him. Uh, we've got to be strong in, in this time. We've got to have resolve in this time uh, as, as he's looking forward into the future. And uh, again, this is the time to not hesitate. Uh, I think that he's going to do that if we see a really significant market correction or maybe the housing thing gets really, really, really bad. Uh, but, but we need to get down the road a little bit further here because I think core CPE right. uh, is, is going to stick a little bit more so than, uh, than what we're thinking right now. With regard to the markets, David, it's all been very choppy for quite some time now. Is there any particular sector that you like that you think could be a leader through all of this? Well, really good question. I mean, obviously, we're, we're seeing more like hard assets, uh, tangible things do well, uh, things that the consumer are, is going to be utilizing here in this new economy, as we're not just crowding into buildings in the same way. Um, I can't answer your question on a particular sector because I'm into diversified ideas. Right. I think that there's definitely places that we are uh, seeing the tide go out of. Uh, there's areas that, uh, that we certainly have concern, especially if we see interest rates rise. You know, tech's doing wonderful, but it could have some additional challenges. And there are a lot of names inside of there that are debt ridden. And, uh, you know, if we don't have strong balance sheets today and good cash flow, I'd say that that's an economic indicator that, you know, things are going to be difficult uh, as corporate earnings are likely to be dipping, uh, given the constraints that we're seeing on the economy right now uh, in GDP. You know, we've got so much cash on the sideline. Is any of that starting to come back in? Or do you think, uh, you know, that's going to stay there for now until we get a more clearer picture of what's ahead? Well, you know, we've certainly seen the momentum drive the market up. And so that has found cash, yeah. you know, buying into it. Uh, we, we've certainly seen the cycle up. And so, you know, there's a mixed bag of predicting, are we in a recession, are we not in a recession? So the, the cash that's been on the sideline that's come off, well, guess what? It's off. 
Now, is there some coming back? Yeah, I think Bank of America actually just released numbers this morning that uh, uh, selling of equities in, in the United States has now been up uh, for the first time this year. And, oh. and so that's, that's an interesting thing to be following right now. Um, I do think the cash is an important thing. I think patience is an important thing. So for those that are, you know, seriously looking at the market right now right. and biting back in, well, dollar cost average is really smart. Don't, you know, try to lump everything in all at once. But I would say yeah. be patient, have some cash, be reserved, be ready to be able to take advantage well, of things when things do fall, because I believe they're going to be falling further. Patience is a virtue, and I certainly don't have it, but I hope others do. David, thank you so much uh, for some great insight this morning. Really appreciate it. Thank you.